If your formulas behave oddly after a copy-paste operation, the most likely reason is an incorrect cell reference style. In this example, we want to calculate a population shares for each continent compared to whole world. This column will present the share as a decimal number from 0 to 1, and the other column displays the exactly same number formatted as percentage. Our goal is to compose a single general purpose formula that can be pasted to all of these cells. Let's make it the dumb way at first. Go to the first free cell of the column C, click the population of the continent, and divide it by the total population. This time we just type the total population as a number. Copy the formula downwards. I will use the drag handle tool that works somewhat like Ctrl C, Ctrl V shortcuts. The result seems satisfying as shares of all continents total to 1. Now it doesn't make sense to have a constant value like total population hard coded inside the formula. Go back to the first row and replace the constant number value with a reference to the total cell. Paste the formulas again downwards. Now only the original cell has a correct value while the others have some kind of error message. Let's examine what happened here. Select for example the second row and set the cursor inside the formula. Then take a look to the third row. Now the reference to the continent's population is correct, but the link to the total cell is running away. The reason is that in the first cell we actually didn't ask the formula to get values from cells B2 and B8. For the first reference we ask to go one cell left and for the second reference one cell left and six down. This is called relative referencing and it's Excel's default option when you build the formulas. For the first reference the one cell left command is fine, but let's change the second from relative to absolute. An absolute reference always retrieves the value from the specified cell no matter where you paste the formula. Alter the formula to the absolute reference style by hitting the F4 key while the cursor is inside the reference. The dollar signs can also be added as normal characters. Now the formula divides the value on the left side by the value in the cell B8. Copy the first cell and paste the formulas. Looks good. Then we want to show the same data in this percentage formatted column by using the exactly same formula. Let's see what happens when I copy and paste the formulas. The results are obviously incorrect. Asia, for example, should be around 60%, but now every cell is zero. Well, they are not actually zero if you add some more decimal places here. The number is just very small, so there's something sketchy happening in the formulas. Let's take a look. I set the cursor inside the formula. Now you can see that we are actually dividing the value in column C instead of column B by the total population. The reason to this problem is that now the first link points to one cell left, not to column B. This behavior can be changed by modifying the first reference to semi-relative. Move back to cell C2. Set the mouse in the middle of the first reference and hit F4 key three times. An alternative is to type a dollar sign just before the letter B. This syntax means that you want to retrieve the value always from the column B, but the row reference still stays relative to the original cell. Copy this cell and paste the formulas to both of the columns. Now the same formula applies to all of these cells. I will end this lecture to a nice trick that makes the formula easier to read. You can name cell ranges from this little box here. I give this area name continent pop, where the pop obviously stands for population, and the total cell as total pop. Press enter to exit.
Now you can type the formula like continent pop divided by total pop. Copy and paste it and you see that it works. A reference to a single named cell works just like an absolute cell reference. To reference to a vertical named range you have to operate in the same row that you want to retrieve the value from. So basically it works like a semi-relative link. From the formulas tab you can manage the named ranges. It might take some time to fully master the different reference styles but now you should have the basic understanding.